If you're new to stamping, one of the most overwhelming things might be inks and ink pads. So here is my most used ink pads. There's more than this in the world, but these are the ones that I tend to reach for most often. These first two here stays on an archival. They're both um, permanent inks. I use them for watercoloring. Anytime I want to use it and want to do things to it where I'm using moisture and I don't want it to bleed, these are perfect. Versamark ink is a clear sticky ink and it is perfect for just doing a watermark so it's just a very tone on tone but it'll, it'll turn the color of your cardstock a little bit darker but you can also use it for heat embossing and embossing images. Memento ink, is this is a black dye ink pad. You could use it for just general coloring and whatnot, but I tend to use it for when I want to color with Copic markers because it doesn't bleed or anything. Distress ink and Distress Oxide. Both of these are water reactive inks, so there's some fun techniques that you can do with them, and I've got a whole playlist with different um, techniques using them. The Distress Ink is a dye-based ink, so it's transparent. Distress Oxide is a dye pigment blend, so it's got some more opacity to it. Both of them can be used together or separate, but just they just have different looks to them. But like I said, they do have water reactive properties, so there's some fun techniques you can do with them. Each one of these companies makes reinkers for their ink pads. And if you have the ability to get a reinker for your ink pad, it's better because you can refill the ink on your ink pad when it gets to be a little bit dry rather than having to buy a whole new pad. A lot of um, generic inexpensive ink pads, you can't buy their reinkers to them. So once they're done, you have to toss them away and um, get a whole new pad. So if you can get a reinker for your pad, it's even better. Hope this helps and clears up some of the mystery between inks.